So let me tell you guys a little something. There's something that happened to me while playing Toontown that made me just flat out despise an aspect of the game. And before you comment, no, it's not about server instability, but that could very well be a perfect topic for a rant. Was that? You, you already knew what the topic was about? What, what you saying? This badly timed joke I'm telling you right now about how you already know the rant topic because of the title, but I'm giving implied confusion because I'm acting like you don't already know it isn't actually funny at all. Alright, fine, the video's about back nines. Good job, Sh Sherlocks. Now let me just say that this is something that happened to me while streaming a fair while ago, but ever since that fateful night, MY EYES WERE OPEN TO THE DARK DISPARAGING EVIL OF THE BACK NINES! Sorry about that. So I think the best way to show you guys is to just walk you through the events of that fateful night. So I'm doing an average stream, VPs, racing, g WAIT A MINUTE, STOP IT RIGHT THERE! Do you see that? Working golf. Mother of God. So anyways, I'm doing a completely normal stream and eventually someone asks if I can help them with a back nine. I put them off for quite some time and even over the course of multiple streams, but just to eventually get some variety in my life, surprise, surprise, Toontown's four activities do get old after a while, I decided to help them through a back nine. So we head there, we get on the cart and all seems well. Now let me stop the progress here and just give some more perspective on why I actually hate back nines. So coming clean with all of you fine folks, I've hardly done anything in my time on Toontown as far as boss bot goes. I think I'm only a pencil pusher on TTR and I never actually got past a flunky on TTO. The fact is, I asked my pal Mega Snoop just how long an average back 9 takes. He said about 50 minutes to an hour with a decent group. Not only that, but when you're getting max stock options, you need to do 7 back 9s. That's more than likely over 7 hours each time you want to get that laugh boost or almost 30% of your entire day. Now you tell me why I would want to spend that much time getting a group together and doing this thing seven times in a row just to advance one suit level in the game. I would rather TTR bring back Vibrant Valley, force me to log in each and every single time right in the middle of it in TTC Vibrant Valley and have to live with that every single time rather than working my boss butt suit all the way up to the top. Actually, that's that's kind of a bit much, isn't it? If, if I caused Vibrant Valley to come back, I'd probably be forever exiled from this game, so scratch that idea. It's not like I can play it anyways, though. Anyways, here's the thing about all that. I was streaming. These people are all relatively randoms. This isn't a specific back nine group, so we're already set up to fail. So all throughout the first floor, everything went pretty smoothly. Some sound strategies got mixed up partially because of lag and partially just because of human error, but you know, that's fine. We get to the second floor, we finish the mole stomp just fine, and here's one of the first true gigantic issues I have with back nines. What in the wonderful world of Toontown is this maze? What are any of the back nine mazes? Are you telling me that Toontown Online's developmental funds were so low that in order to just finish up production, they just copy and pasted previous COG golf course mazes over one another and called it a hard back nine maze? There's literal solid wall you can run through trying to get through this maze. A solid wall. There's turns, twists, invisible walls, floors your legs get stuck in, dead ends that make absolutely no sense, and if this is anywhere near your first time in this maze, in fact, if this is even your first, second, third, fourth, or fifth time in this maze and you don't have a tune or an online guide that knows the convoluted, ridiculous maze strategies to get out, you're going to end up just dealing with the lost laugh. Like, I get it that there's still strategy to get out of it, but what is this? I literally went and watched Mega Snoop's guide and skimming through it, I not only lost all motivation to figure out these mazes, but I just decided, I don't even care, 20 lav lost is just worth it for me. Unless somebody is actually just gonna guide me through. These maze maps make me feel like they let a kid go into Microsoft Paint, rest in peace by the way, and they had them just draw like scribbles and took that as a guideline as what the perfect back nine maze map should just end up being. The next time I go into a back nine maze, I'm about to just go to the first dead end I inevitably reach, pack it up, sit down and open the lunch my mom packed me containing my Lunchable, my extremely disappointing Sun Chips, and my Capri Sun. This is my life now. Thankfully, one of the tunes I was going with does in fact know the strategy and we eventually make it through this maze. So on the third floor, after things picked back up again and we had been moving along fairly well enough, disaster struck again. There's apparently some glitch and disclaimer, I don't know if it's since been fixed or not, but at the time this happened, apparently there was a chance that once you reached the COG Golf minigame, it just doesn't load the room and you're relatively screwed unless you can just 
figure out how to make it load back in. That means if you can't see Cog Golf, you can't see the golf cart at the end of the back nine floor itself, and you're effectively done with the back nine. So we had to take an extra five or so minutes to deal with the tune needing to go back into the previous parts of the floor, just so the Cog Golf area and the end would reload for him. Let me just say I'm enjoying myself so much at this point right now. What do you say guys, six more back nines after this? No? Okay. So before I keep continuing on passionately hating on the back nines, let me just drive it on even harder for you. Looking at a stock options guide, I counted all the times during your boss butt suit maxing that it is the most efficient way to do a back nine for stock options. I got about 58 back nines counted. That means over 58 hours of back nines, and that's just if every single group you go with is absolutely efficient. That's almost two and a half days of doing nothing but back nines perfectly after the other, and that's not even including the plethora of middle sixes and front threes you'll also have to do. And the CEOs too. So next floor, all goes well. Guess what? Cog Golf Course doesn't load for the same tune again, we don't finish the Cog Golf Courses in time, sound starts missing, then we have to go and wait for them to reload the section of the back nine again. On to the next floor, same thing again but by now he's become a pro at fixing this loading issue and we finish the fifth floor without a problem. Next floor, bad strategy ends up messing us up with having the right sound gag loadouts and the tune has to fix the loading issue again. There he goes to fix all of Toontown's problem. So we finish that floor and head on to the seventh floor. We get to the maze and eventually I get lost and time runs out. This other yellow bear was in the maze too and when time runs out and it goes to teleport us into the battle area, it turns out the game crashed him. So now we've wasted so much time and had bad strategy all throughout this bag nine and now we're just down to three tunes at the moment. It's already been almost one hour spent in this bag nine so far. If there's any consolation, the horse tune did see the golf course on his first try this floor at least. I can see clearly now the cog golf course has loaded. We finish the floor and we head onto the eighth floor. Almost done. And then another thing goes wrong. This is like Final Destination Back 9 Edition. Like, I, I don't understand. So the issue here is the Red Bears game didn't load in the next floor of the Back 9. Instead, he just sees the golf cart from the previous floor, so we spend extra time trying to figure out if we can fix this for him. Eventually, we find we can sort of guide him along, and so it seems alright, and we manage through the floor having to deal with just... Two tunes now fighting each battle on the floor. Miraculously, the broken golf cart that he can only see enables him to actually get on the golf cart with us at the end of the floor and move along with us. Or so we thought. Upon coming into the ninth and final floor on this back nine, that I only did for this red bear, his game crashed. Probably due to some weird bug with all the loading errors. So now, I'm almost an hour and a half into this back nine that I didn't need because I'm full on stock options, dealt with buggy issues affecting all three other tunes with me, dealt with whatever those mazes are, and now have to do the final floor of this back nine. Yay! I use the Professor Pete, we do okay, and we get through most of the floor. You know it, the golf minigame glitched so we had to run off and fix that again. We get to the final battle, I use a railroad, and I decide the back nines are the bane of my existence and I never want to do another one again. I spent near two hours dealing with this lovely back nine, and I've now experienced the tortures of truly going through what could go wrong in a back nine. I went to the liberty of making you this chart here to further explain in my scientifically proven opinion the composition of the back nine for your own interpretation and knowledge. Now as you can see, back nines are composed solely of 65% bugs, 33% frustration, and 2% productive gaming. I fully believe my findings are scientifically backed and proven and protected, so please don't come to me with accusations of inaccurate data, because I promise you this looks like the real deal and I won't be made a fool of. I just don't like back nines, man. It's like wanting strawberry milk or something that's delicious and strawberry flavored that you'd enjoy lots, and instead having to drink an entire bottle of Pepto-Bismol. But then you find out there's some weird side chance that the cap will get stuck and you gotta spend extra time dealing with that issue. And then you find out all you have left in your house is six more full bottles of Pepto-Bismol that you have to go through. It might help your nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea, but dear god would you ever actually enjoy that? That's what that bag nine felt like to me. You know what, hey, maybe some people would actually enjoy that. I, I don't know everybody, maybe some people do like Pepto-Bismol, so maybe some people are into stuff like that. You know, you never know. Anyways... So now you know why I just despise back nines and this probably won't help me in ever actually working on a boss butt suit in any consistent manner, but 
it's just rough forcing myself to go through that, you know? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any tales of a similar manner, or if you want to dispute my scientific findings, please don't at me in the comments. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time in my next video.